Welcome back, everybody. What's up? Welcome to the stream. It is me, it's MD Tenebris. I'm back again to bring you some more mediocre Pokemon play. I have below me on the screen a link to my Twitch, a link to my YouTube. Uh, the YouTube is MD Tenebris Plays Pokemon. All of my back catalog is there. Feel free to uh, check it out. You can subscribe. You can like the videos if you like the content. Feel free to do whatever you want. Uh, Twitch, I stream every Monday at 6.30, supposed to be, and every Saturday at 2, so feel free to come and catch me live. You can uh, chat to me about whatever while the stream is going on, and uh, yeah, I have a Discord link in the information box below. If you want to talk to me offline about any of the cards that I get from opening booster packs, maybe you want to trade for some if you want to talk about these cards, maybe you want to talk about the deck that I'm building today, you have ideas, maybe you want to vote on the next deck that I build, you can do that all in the Discord chat. Um, it's there for talking about Pokemon, so feel free to come and hang out. Um, today, today, uh, I wanted to do this Ampharos deck. Um, I've been calling it Ampharos my entire time of calling the Pokemon by its name. So when I went to search for today and it had an A instead of an O, kind of threw me off a little bit. I'm a little scared. I don't know how the future is going to proceed, but it's pronounced Ampharos, apparently feels very strange to say so I'm gonna keep saying I'm for us cuz I'm an idiot and I did it wrong the first time I'm gonna keep doing it wrong so we got this dazzle blast move here it does 50 damage it's not a ton of damage but uh, it leaves your active your opponent's active Pokemon confused which is nice you also have this electric ball for 130 right so that's not a lot of damage either but for two energies that's not bad now the nice thing about the Ampharos Ampharos I'm not going to say that, is it comes from the Flaffy line, right? So you can use this Dynamotar ability that I've seen every other electric deck use. Once during your turn, you may attach a lightning energy t from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. Now, the nice thing about this is uh, you don't have to just jam it into the deck because it evolves into Ampharos, Ampharos. So here we go. We can just have the chain in here. Now, as a Brutalizer on the side... I've got this Zeb Streaka in. It's got this Spark Rush. Flip a coin until you get Tails. This attack does 90 damage for each heads. Now that's crazy. If you get two heads, that's 180 damage right there, which is a decent amount of damage. If you get three, you're talking 270 damage, if my math is correct, which is uh, enough to take out most Pokemon V-Star. So um, we kind of have this guy in as the main attacker. We get the Amphorus in here for um, the cheap Electric Ball move and the Dazzle Blast. So we're hoping to confuse their Pokemon, stall out a little bit, throw some energies onto ours, and get the Zeb Streaka into play. Now, I have uh, a couple of stadiums in here to help me manifest this dream that we're working on. I got the Stormy Mountain, so you can go grab base Pokemon of the Electric Typing. That's lovely. We got the Tower of Waters. The Zeb Streaka is a Rapid Strike Pokemon, so we can use this, get it a cheaper retreat cost, give us some flexibility in play. We also have two of the Glimwood Tangle Stadium. Now, once during each player's turn, after that player flips any coins for an attack, they may ignore all the results of those coin flips and begin flipping those coins again. Basically, if we flip a bad Tails first try, or we get, you know, Heads Tails on the Zeb Streaka, we could take another crack at that. Um... And hopefully get more heads. Now the problem with this is, as you can guess, you flip a coin until you get tails. Now if you get heads in the first try and then your Glimwood Tangle gets you heads again, you do zero damage. So it's a little tough. It's got a high energy cost, which is negated slightly by the Dynamotor. Um, and negated slightly by the low energy cost of the Amphoros. So that's basically how the deck is meant to work, right? Um, that's just something I threw together. I thought it was kind of fun. Um... I was trying to fix a bunch of my camera issues from last time, so I'm starting the stream a little late because that got in the way of eating and it got in the way of deck building. I was considering just rerunning the um, Aqua Wash Samurott deck. I don't think I did the best job with that deck. Um, I made a new version of it that's got uh, a Goldeen Seeking Chain in it that also gets rid of your opponent's energy, so it's a little bit more streamlined. It's a little bit more focused on doing the nasty stuff that it wanted to do. Um, but no, I thought this M Forest deck, it's been sitting on my list for a while. The Dazzle Blast move, the Electric Ball, it looks like fun. We've got the Zip Streak in here. Uh, I haven't done an Electric deck for a little while, so I wanted to, uh, take it out and, uh, have, have some fun with it. 
Hey, what is up, Matt1395? How you doing, my friend? Welcome back to the chat. Welcome back to the stream. Yeah, we got some electric energy in here, as always. We got some Gloria. We got some Arezu. You know me, I can't help with my supporter cards. We got some of the lady in here. We got some Professor's Research, some Shauna. I'm actually thinking of getting rid of the Shauna and putting another Professor's Research in, actually, because the uh, throwing those... Throwing those energies into the discard pile will be pretty useful. So we're going to try that instead. Take this Amphoros deck out and see how it goes. Hey, what's up, Phase Leader? How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. That is my alarm. All right, the Amphoros deck has been saved. Let's go and try it out. Exciting times. Let us see. Let us see what's going on. Oh, God, do you remember me? I remember you, and Matt remembers you. There you go. Look at that. We got a little community. That's fantastic. People just come in to play and watch some Pokemon. We love it. I'm going to throw this Amphoros deck onto the streamed list so I don't do it again like I'm liable to. I can't believe it's Ampharos. I keep trying to call it Amphoros, and it's just like, it's totally messing with my head now. It's like, uh, it's like the Berenstein Bears. The Matrix effect, the glitch in the Matrix. Yeah, I swear it was Amphoros. Um, I guess it's not. We're going up against Grokey Love Monka. Okay. That should say Grookey. I think because there's a Pokemon called Grookey. He might have spelled it wrong. I love his like sinister. He's got a Thievo mustache. Look at that. I have no basic Pokemon again. Fantastic. Okay. Look at this. He's got a little Thievo mustache. <laughs> he looks like a Thievo avatar. That's funny. That's pretty funny. I hadn't thought about that. Trying to make my avatar look like a specific Pokemon or not, but that could be that could be entertaining. I had to take one mulligan. It's not the end of the world. We are starting with a Mareep. We do not have any evolutions. We are looking a little scared here. And I can't use the Professor's Research because I can't play the Glimwood Tangle on my first go. That's okay. Then we're going to put the Speed Energy in. We're going to see what we draw. Bird Keeper and an Arezu. So we're feeling a little better now. Um, okay, so we're going to go done. We're going to leave it at that. We're going to see. They got a Hoopa. I believe he has to move into position to do damage. No. It's not that one. And a Jin, search your deck for a dark energy card attached to one of your Pokemon and then shuffle your deck. That's a pretty nice card to start your game with. My goodness. Hide in the Shadow Zubat. So this might be... They got a Noivern on the box. So it might be a Noivern deck with the Psychic Dark Typing. But it might also be that Crobat Draw that I uh, had a deck of. I made that deck with the Hisuian Samurott, which is also Dark Typing. So we'll see if that's the case. Interesting they put it on there. I'm guessing they're planning on attacking with the Zubat. That's an interesting one. Um, so we're going to go like this. Um, we're going to go for the Arezu. Uh, I think we're going to grab a Zebstrika, a Flaffy, and an Amphoros. You see, I've been saying Amphor, like actively emphasizing the O. And now I'm not meant to, and it hurts my feelings a little bit. Hmm. You can only attach poke, uh, energy to your benched Pokemon. Um, we're going to shift it up anyway so we can do 50 damage. Um, we're not going to play the Glimwood Tangle just yet. Um, and we can't use the Electro Ball. Okay, so we're just going to go done. We're donezo. I'm going to be uh, eating um, briefly while this happens so I can get my dinner in. What kind is this? This is the draw. It's the draw engine. Okay, so we're going up against the deck we previously built. This is going to be tough. This has a lot of draw in it, this deck. Shuffle your hand. Oh, they got the copycat card. I think I also have the copycat card in this deck. It was a choice between that and Dan. I'm not sure, though. I might have had to get rid of it. We'll see if it shows up. Yeah, copycat's probably your best option. Because, like, think about it. If you have a Marnie or a copycat, what can you do? A Marnie, you can swap your opponent's hand, potentially giving them what they need. You swap your hand out, and you get less cards. A copycat, you can specifically use it 
to get the same amount of cards, but you get the same amount of cards back. Interesting. What do I want to do here? Okay, well, we have the electric ball up and running for 130, so we can knock out this Hoopa, no problem. That's done. So I think the next step is we're going to go for this Gloria. We're going to grab uh, two Zeb Streakers, and we're going to grab a Mary. If this is going to be our, our attacking strategy this day, um, we're going to put an electric energy onto, I think, onto one of the Zeb Streakers, get that started out. Um, we're not going to play the Glim Tangle just yet. We're just going to go for the electric ball. We're going to get the knockout. 120 damage should be. Bang, no problem. Now, the nice thing about this deck we're playing against is the Crobat is actually weak to lightning, I believe. Um, fighting. What? Wait. Why is it weak to fighting? What? That doesn't make any sense. I'm confused. So he's going to do 100 damage with the wing attack. They have so much pull. Okay, so he's got a, a, a potentially an overquill deck as well that we're dealing with right here with the rolling tackle. So we're going to go Zeb Streaker here. We do not have another um, one of these that we need. I might... That's a little ballsy. Um, What does that do? No, you see we don't have another Rapid Strike Pokemon in this deck, so this coordinated bolt isn't going to be super great unless we can... Um, Retreat it for another Zeb Streaka. Now the question is, if I do the Bird Keeper, well, I could retreat the Zeb Streaka, get more cards, hope to get the Flaffy. Seems a little unnecessary, but I, I don't want to do the Professor's Research just yet. So we're going to go for that. I think that's the only thing we can do right now. We're going to go for the Zeb Streaka, see what we get. We got another Zeb Streaka. That's not bad. Um... We did not get the Flaffy we were hoping for. We do not have the energies on this Zeb Streaker to attack either. Um, so we are just going to do what we thought. We're going to retreat for the Amphoros. We're going to knock out this Crobat. Uh, we can put another energy onto the Zeb Streaker, no problem. It might be Zeb Striker. I might be making a fool of myself. So we got another easy hit, no problem. And this guy does not have any energy set up. Um... So I'm not sure who he's going to come forward with. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, well, no, like, that's not the, the reason I'm conf I'm surprised is because you would assume it's a flying poison type in the game, right? Both of those are strong against fighting, as far as I can tell. I'm pretty sure poison is strong against fighting, too. Um, they might be neutral, but, um... Yeah, it's a flying type, so you would assume it's not weak to fighting ever. You would assume that when it's it's dark, it would be weak to lightning, you know? Because I think the psychic type version of it is weak to, to dark. So I, yeah, I don't know what they're doing with it. So we have another Pokemon here. They got a Zatu coming up. This attack is 30 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So not a ton, but it would knock out our Amphoros. Um... <laughs> What do we want to do here? Um, are we going to use the Gloria? We're going to put this Balloon onto the Zeb Streaka. That's for sure. Um, we're going to put another Energy onto the Zeb Streaka. I'm not too concerned about this Zatu. 120. That's not... Yeah, I'm not too scared. Um, I think we'll play Glimwood Tangle now and see if they have someone to knock it out. We'll play the Gloria this turn, grab some bench Pokemon, grab another Mad Reaper too. Uh, or just a Blitzel, that sucks, okay. But we do have two Flaffies in the deck, so we can get those. Not bad, what else? We got some Boss's Orders. We do have the Dan instead of the Copycat, so we went for fun instead of functionality right here, this guy. We're gonna play some Rock, Paper, Scissors at some point. Um, so we're just gonna go Electric Ball again. Yeah, why not? The Zeb Strike is going to be up and running in next turn. We just need to put the energy on it, so that's nice. We got another Mareep. Interesting pull. Okay, so they're playing the Zatu. They're going to knock out the M4, so I'm guessing it's going to do 70 damage, I think.
Mhm. Hmm. 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 Thirty more energy for each attach. Thirty more damage. That sucks. So they're gonna do. Yeah, they're gonna do their um. They're gonna do a hundred damage to the Zeb Streaker. From the looks of it, she got thirty times three. You got ninety plus the ten. Um. Hmm. This is an interesting deck. Attach any number of basic energy cards from your hand to your Pokemon any way you like. Right? And then this one. We got the Flaffy. Okay, so we're saved. There we go. So this is the whole point. You're meant to get your Flaffy in. And then once during your turn, you can put an energy on one of your Pokemon. Let's you level it up a little quicker. Hmm. We can put another energy onto that one. Hmm. I kind of want to use the professor's research, but I'll use it after I evolve the Flaffy. Um, we're not going to play the Storm Stormy Mountains. Hmm. So, if one of your other Rapid Strike Pokemon used an attack, so 90 plus the 30, that would be enough damage. So I can use this coordinated bolt, and we can check and see if it counts as its own. No, it doesn't. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So... The Zeb Streaker, though, I can use the, I can, I can now swap this one out for this one, and the coordinated bolt would do 120 damage. So that's, uh, that's nice. That's a nice little, uh, nice little touch. You see, it's got the green arrow there. Let me know. Oh, it didn't. Where's the arrow? What? It just, oh, maybe it's only gonna show up on my turn. That might make sense as well. Okay, so we're gonna play our Zeb Streaker. Um, because the coordinated bolt, there you go, it does more damage, so that's perfect. So we're going to go Flaffy, we're going to use the Dynamotor. Hey, what are you going to do? Too strong, that's what we are. I didn't even know how many prize cards I had left, to be honest. I might have only had one. They might have, uh, they might have canceled me for, for taking too long. I should have paid a little more attention. That's okay, though. Uh, we're trying to eat. We're trying to do a couple things at once. So we got our first win. Look at that. It's not bad. First win of the day with the M4 deck. Let's go. Let's try another. Yes. Okay. Are you happy now, Pokemon gods? I have filled the deck with means of getting the Flaffy out. You should not be stopping me from getting the Flaffies. Why no balls? Um, just didn't have didn't have space. I was trying to focus mainly on just like I had like a ton of evolution incense and stuff in there. Um, I have like a favorite collection of cards that I like to use, um, and I'll mix and match from what I think are the most effective cards. Um, so I'm probably missing some really good options because my own personal biases. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. 52 minutes left on the ladder. Let's see if we can scoop some rewards here. We're going up against AC Flyerd. Uh, okay. AC Flyerd. All right. They had no basic Pokemon for once. So this is our first game without a mulligan. Do you see how stupid this has been? All right, we got the Mary. We have the Flaffy right at the start. Look at that. And we have an evolution in sense. Mmm. This is nice. This is a decent start. Okay, we're going up against the Steel again. They took five mulligans. Mmm. Yeah, I'd like five more cards. That'd be great. Thank you. 
And we got another Mary. Perfect. We got the Amphoros. We got a Gloria. This is great. Okay, so we're going up against a Metagross V. This is also on my uh, list of decks to make. Uh, I'm a little nervous to see what they have. Does this mean I can't paralyze them? Yep. Can't paralyze them. Um, dee -dee -dee -dee. They have one energy. 20, flip two heads. So they could do 60 damage. I could be dead. I'm not even going to risk it. That's a terrible idea. Um, I guess we'll go for the Gloria here. Grab some more Pokemons for the bench. This is feeling pretty good. Um, I don't want to play any of this right now. So we're going to leave it at that. We're going to say done. I wonder what they've got. With only the number of Pokemon that they have... Um, they should probably not have a ton other than the Metagross, right? I wonder what they're going to do. So they got the Synchro Hammer. They did the 60 damage, so that's that. That's a little upsetting. Um, are they going to do more? Wait, if this Pokemon and your opponent's active Pokemon have the same number of energy attached, yeah. Uh, shice. Um, we're going to sacrifice another Mareep. Oh, we did not get an energy either. That is not a good time for us. Um, that sucks. Um, we should... We would like to have an energy. Um, hmm, what am I going to do here? I'm going to save the professor's research for this. I don't want that stadium sitting there too long, so I'm going to play the Glimwood Tangle just to stop that. Um, they're going to knock out the Marib next turn. What do I do? I really want to use the professor's research. I need the... Um, I'm doing it. You know what? Did I put this Marib in play this turn? I did. Um, hmm. No, I think it was last turn. Let me check. We'll grab another Flaffy. There we go. Can I evolve it? I can. Okay, so we're going to go like that. Are we going to sacrifice this Amphoros? I mean, there's only two in play right now, so yeah. We're going to Professor's Research. We're going to get rid of all these lovely items. I probably should have thrown the Air Balloon onto a Pokemon. Um, kind of not thinking right now. We got the energy we were hoping for. We have a Lady. This is fantastic. We have a level ball. This is also great. I'm not going to use it right now. I'm gonna call it a, we're going to call it a turn. Be funny if they auto-migrated. Oh my god, that would be a nightmare. Um, so they have four energies on their Pokemon now. They cannot remove energies from this Pokemon. Great news for us. So we're going to go Amphoros. Uh, yeah, I don't think I have any energy in here. I do not. So we're going to go Amphoros onto you. We're going to go for the lady. We're going to grab ourselves four shiny electric energies. Here we go. Actually, I want this really, this beautiful gold one that we found. Alrighty. Um, now I could Dazzle Blast, which probably makes a little more sense. Um... I don't need another energy on there, so maybe I'll put one on the Zebstrika. So that guy will be up and running next turn. I like that idea. Um, I'm going to leave this Amphorus off of the Flaffy because I can use the Dynamotor next turn on the Zebstrika. Oh, it's only for bench Pokemon? Shucks. Um, yeah, we can still do that if we figure out how to make it work. All right, so we're going to go... I think we can't confuse him, right? So we have to go Electro Ball have to do the electro ball because the confusion would not land because of the parasol that is a shame all right so they're gonna try and use this lucky ice pop i hope they get a, a tails hey wow so i'm guessing a lot of their item cards or their supporter cards are just gonna be heal um yeah yeah so this this guy's playing the worst kind of deck in my opinion he's got very few very strong pokemon and everything else in the deck is just like a tool or an item card to help him use those very strong Pokemon. Um, that is lame as hell. Um, 
Yeah, and I can't use the dynamotor move right now. Um, we could go like this. What do we get? Heads? No heads. Uh, it's okay. Um, well, we don't need the dynamotor move, but um, we're going to go grab ourselves a Zeb Streaker, though. Yeah, this is a li little frustrating. Um... Hmm, and then we're gonna go, I guess we're just gonna go Electro Ball again, and hope that they don't have a ton of heals. Um, yeah, really need them to not have a ton, there we go, so they get one supporter card. There you go, and they're gonna put all of their healing supporter cards back, yup, there goes the cook. Okay, this seems like it's not going to be a very fun deck to play. Um, we'll see. Got a boss's orders. I can't use it, obviously, because the... Uh, I'm going to start loading this guy up. That makes a lot more sense. We got two energy, and we got nothing else. Um, Going to leave that. Uh, I don't have any more Flaffy. They're all the Mary Pearl and the the thing. Uh, can I knock him out? One thirty and eighty is almost enough, right? Is that enough? One short. I'm I'm ten damage short. Dang. Oh come on, fuck you. Yeah, so this is his whole deck. He's just trying to get this Metagross Rapid Strike in. I've 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 got this guy lined up. I want to make this deck. It looks like fun. Switch your deck for two cards. Put them into your hand. Shuffle your deck. Max rush during your next turn. This Pokemon's max rush attack is 150 more damage. Now, fortunately for us, we left the um, the Flaffy there. So we're gonna go. We're gonna speed energy this guy. Grab two more cards. We're gonna use this Dynamodor. We're going to put an energy, preferably the shiny energy, onto the Zeb Striker. So he'll be ready to go next turn. Um, and then I guess we're just going to... Um, we'll leave that off. That's fine. Um, we don't want any more Pokemon. We're just going to go for the Spark Rush now um, and hope for two heads. 90 and 210 we got to try again we need at least two please give me two fuck fuck ah ah damn that's a bitch there you go so it's doing 250 that's a very nice amount of damage okay um so we're gonna play this zeb streak uh the price cards is really saving us um we're gonna play this onto here Draw two cards. Very nice. We're going to use this to put an energy onto this guy so that he's up and running for when we uh, want to attack with him. We're going to play the Amphoros now because we can. Um, not going to do anything else. Ooh, I could play this. And if we get to put one on, if we get a heads, if we get a heads. I can just put it on the Amphoros, and I can switch the Amphoros in and not mess around with the Glimwood Tangle, right? There we go. So here we go. Goodbye. This is why you want to have more than one Pokemon, my friend. That's why. That's why you want to have more than one Pokemon. So we snagged another win. Snagged. Stolen from the Jaws of Defeat. Two prize cards left. This guy's just mashing up all my, my weak-ass non rule box pokemon and then on for us save the day oh my gosh i want to see how this is pronounced i ooh new daily challenge um what deck i guess we'll do fire deck next that sounds fun that sounds okay 41 minutes left can we get this special chest that's the question that's the question what we got today One, two, three, four, four, five, six. The hint is colorless. Um, uh, we'll go T A U R O S. We got an O. What's the next hint? The next hint is rollout. Oh, so this is a shame because I actually was gonna make this deck. 
This was a, an option for today. Oh, it's not the Wooloo. It constantly gnaws on logs and rocks to whittle down its front teeth. It nests alongside water. Is that Bidoof? There we go. So it's not rollout. It's let's all roll out. There's a couple. Of, there's a couple of Pokemon that have that um that that thing. There we go. Let's see. Am am froze. It's not playing it. How do I play it? Amphuros. Okay, well, well I, I think there's what I do, so we're, uh, <laughs> I think that's much worse than my, my pronunciation. Amphoros. Amphoros. That's weird. Am Amphoros? Okay. I'm saying the whole Mary plan wrong. I'm guessing you're, you're, it should be Mareep. Um... Flaffy? What, how do you say Flaffy wrong? What? I'm saying all three of them wrong? Get out of here. I don't believe that for a second. Mareep. No, I got those two right. Mareep. Okay. <laughs> no energy again to start. Not impressed. It's either one or the other. There we go. Thank goodness. It's either one or the other. They're always doing this to me. Mareep, Flaffy, and Ampharos, apparently, according to according to Google. Ooh, we're going up against Skeeter five thousand. Skeeter, that's a great name. I remember that from there was a TV show with a main character called Doug. I can't remember the whole show was called. I don't think it was called Doug. No more energy. All right, so we're gonna evolve this guy. We're gonna evolve the other Mareep. Done. In fact, we should have gone for the Ampharos. Ah, well. Um, we're going to play our Glimwood Tangle early, and we're going to Professor's Research and get a whole new hand. Yes. We got the Lady. Fantastic. And we got another evolution. We got the Ultra Ball. We got a Switch here. We got the Speed Energy. We get to draw two. I love that. We got the Ampharos. Look at this. I'm pronouncing everything correctly. It's so going to plan. Done. All right, what was that? Oh, I got a new follow. Thank you, Wit Z27. Thank you for the follow. I hope you are enjoying the stream today. Yeah, what is, we're going up against this weird dark. T so it looks like it's going to be an Obstagoon evolution change. They're using the copycat. I like that much better than a Marnie. That's fine. Get your advantage when you play this Pokemon. Yeah, we know that. So this is going to go to the Obstagoon, I think. Now the question is, which Obstagoon are we dealing with? Oh, and they're going to swap us at one point with the Umbreon Vmax evolution would be my guess that would just be my guess um so we're gonna play our ampharos we're gonna put an energy oh we don't need to put another energy onto him we're gonna put an energy onto the blitzel grab the two there we go we're gonna go evolution incense now we're gonna grab ourselves a zeb striker i can't figure out do i want to say zeb striker or zeb striker hey welcome welcome to the chat welcome to the stream i hope you're having a good day today um, what do I want to do here? Ultra Ball, I don't really need to. A Glimmer Tango, we're all good. I don't need to do anything. So I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to Electro Ball. Put some pressure on them. See, this is the nice part about the whole Ampharos chain is you Electro Ball 130 for two energy is really a nice trade-off. This guy needs two energy to do just 30 damage. This guy needs uh, three energy to do 70. Um... Interesting. Did they think they could evolve this this turn with that card? I don't think they can. I think they have to evolve one of these guys. And I don't think either of these, neither of these have one. So they can do those two. 
Um, we're gonna see what Skeeter does. We got the one. Yeah, they, they had to do the bench Pokemon because the Linowin evolved this turn. So I can still take out the Linowin. And we have the final say on which obstacle we're going up against. It's the Untamed Shout. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, which they didn't. They used the Breeder's Nurturing ability, so they didn't get to put 30 damage on my Pokemon, which is a lovely, lovely uh, news for me. Um, we're going to go for the Speed Energy again. We got a bird keeper. Interesting. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, ba -ba -ba. we're gonna go for the ultra ball, and we're gonna get rid of uh one energy here. And do we want to do the switch? Glenn with Tango. Maybe the lady. We'll do the other energy because we have a lady. So why not? I probably should have done the level ball though. Um. Hmm. I think we're gonna go for this flaffy. Um, I think that's the best option right now. Yeah, and then we can use the uh, we can use the Dino Mortar to put energy onto the Pokemon. Fantastic. Okay, looking good. Um, hmm. Now what do I want to do? I can't actually. I'm going to evolve this and for us as well because I might as well. So I could. I could uh, boss's orders this Umbreon VMAX in because they don't have energy on it, and I could start attacking it 130, 130. That'd be kind of nice. Um, and then they have to put the energy onto that guy. All right, so we're going to go like this. We're going to go for the Electro Ball here. We're going to do the 130 damage. And um, we're gonna see. This is the quickest way I think we can hopefully get uh, we get three price cards if we knock this one out. So we're gonna see. Yeah, I think people only use the Zigzagoon for that ability. The fact that they uh, oh, there is an evolution. I forgot. It looks exactly the same. Um, what do I want to do here? We're gonna go Flaffy. We have an energy in here, I think. Yep, so we're going to Dynamotor that onto our Ampharos. Very nice. Um, we don't have any more in here. No, I'm not going to use the Spark. We could go for the Lady. Um, we could go for the Bird Keeper to get the Zeb Striker in, in case we can knock this out super quick. Um, 130 damage is not going to, to influence that so much. Um... Okay, so we're going to go for that. We're going to try the big hitter. We're going to take our chance. <sighs> Risking a little bit to hopefully win a lot. So the hope is we get three heads here. Um, would two be enough? 180 and 130 would take us to... Two would be enough. So we need two heads. No. One more time. No! Oh, we just got the one both times. So close. If we'd gotten two, we could have had that knockout. That would have been sweet. Fortunately as well, um, wait, uh, how is the, oh, is this guy? Retreat cost is two less. So this guy can leave now. Yeah, that's what I thought was going to happen. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um, perfect timing. So we're just going to swap out the Zeb Striker. In fact, actually, no, it doesn't work on the same one. So we are going to swap him out. We are going to play our Ampharos. We are going to use... Uh, there are still no energies in here, correct? Um, hmm, I guess we'll go for a level ball. We'll grab the uh, Blitzel. Set up another Blitzel. That would be nice. Professor's Research. We do the Lady. I'm going to do the Lady and grab the uh, extra energy. One, two, three... Four. There we go. Throw them onto the Pokemon coming up. Um, I think we're gonna put it onto you. Sure. No, we're gonna go like that. That makes no sense. Um, and we're gonna go for the electric ball. We're gonna knock them straight out. That's fantastic. We get the knockout. They still do not have a Pokemon up and running. How much is this guy hit for? Ninety. During your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon. By attacks from basic Pokemon. So that's actually a pretty nasty move if you're going up against um, Pokemon V, for instance. You know, if they don't have an evolution for their Pokemon. 
It's not bad. What is that again? That's uh, for each trainer card you find in my hand. Oh yeah, you get that's a lot. You get a lot of cards there. Okay, interesting. Dark patch. What are you doing? So they're trying to get this Umbreon V Max up and running. Um, I'm guessing it's going to be next turn. We do not have a um, the card that we were looking for. Speed energy. What do we got? Nothing else, nothing great. Um, we'll go for Spark, I guess. Not in a super rush. Fine, we'll put an Amphoros onto here. That's okay. Um, we could switch it out. I don't see a need to. We're just going to go Electric Ball. Bang! Now, the nice thing about this Amphoros as well is it has that Dazzle Blast, right? So it can... It is capable of confusing... Um, someone else's Pokemon. Now the problem is this guy does 160 damage, so he can one-hit all of my Pokemon. I don't think I have a single Pokemon that can withstand a, a hit from him. Um, so I don't know if I would want to use the Dazzle Blast. Um, it looks like he's going to knock me out, and then I only have three prize cards. I'm going to take him out next turn. I don't know why he moved the Umbreon VMAX into play. That's why... No, he's not even... What? What? I don't I don't get... Sorry, Skeeter5000, but this is a... This looks like a losing move here. Just gonna play our Aphoros like, uh, like the Poke Gods intended. We're gonna go here, Electric Ball, and that's enough. That's the three prize cards, I believe, right? There we go. Game over. I don't know why they played that Pokemon. That was a little silly. They have a bunch of... A bunch of single prize cards they could've played instead I wonder if that whole deck revolves around the Umbreon VMAX like I wonder if that's that's their main attacker um, and so obviously they were just desperate to get that Pokemon into play in order to uh, get some moves off with it all right we are coming up on an hour I don't think 768 to 820 I don't unless we win like the next two games pretty quick um, which would reduce how many points we get for them I don't think we're going to get this chest on stream today. Um, oh, we're going up against a fire deck. It's Avar111. I do have a bunch of uh, booster packs that I would like to open. So, uh, yeah, if you guys want to keep seeing Ampharos gameplay, feel free to write in the chat that you want to keep going. But otherwise, I will be uh, swinging over to uh, some boosters in a little bit. We got the Mo. Reap to start. I see. It's kind of like Mary. It's well, that's how I was saying Mary, wasn't it? It's kind of like Marie, right? If you say Marie, it's like Marie. I get that now. That makes that makes sense. You've opened my eyes, Phase Leader. I can now see the lightning Pokemon spelling pronunciation. Okay, I'm really loving these speed energies. These speed energies are chef's kiss fantastic. Um, oh, we're going up against a fighting... No. No, it's not. This is a weird deck. This is a weird looking deck. We're going to play the Gloria. I think all of my Pokemon are weak to fighting. So, that's how that works. Um, unfortunately for him, we have a rare candy. The Amphorus only needs one more energy, which is going to let us draw two cards as well. That's so nasty. I love that. That's so fun. Got another Blitzel. We're going to play that. Um, and we're going to just knock straight. We're going to knock this Pseudo Wudo straight out of play. Wow, up and running, 130 damage by turn two. That's not bad. Look at that. We got a really quick win in. Look at that. Very, very nice. Very nice. Maybe the Pokemon gods want us to get the chest. We got 50 coins. Love to see that. All right, let's speed through. How much How much are you giving me? Seven, six, eight, two. Oh, they gave us 20. They gave us 20. Oh, we might be able to pull this off. This is going to be tight as hell, though. I do not know if it's going to be a good plan. We're going up against light. Uh, we're going up against steel type deck now. This guy's name is Thruman. He's got a Lugia coin, though. I hope it's not like a Lugia deck with a steel disguise. That would be upsetting. I got to reheat that pizza later. I'm not going to eat that now. 
Can't talk with your mouth full. I mean, I can, but it's gross. <laughs> Um, okay, we have an evolution incense. We can grab our Flaffy. We have a level ball as well. So we can grab a bench Pokemon. Oh, we don't need to. We can grab the Blitzel. Fantastic. So we put the lightning on there. I'm going to use this to get another Fla uh, Mareep now, I think. Because we have the evolution incense to grab the, um, the Flaffy. We can't go. That's correct. Is this the one that knocks you out? Yeah. Flip two coins. If both of them are heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out. Um, very scary. Uh, they can have two energies on them and flip the, the coin in the turn that I get my uh, Ampharos. So I don't know. I don't think Flaffy does enough damage. But maybe they'll put a bench Pokemon down and they'll want to put the energy on the bench Pokemon instead. That's... Oh, they didn't get any energy. Okay, we're good. We're, we're all good. Whew, I was worried. They might have a twin energy, though, and they might come back and spank us with that. That would be upsetting. We're going to see. We got the one. We got the two. We're going to go Dunzo. I really hope they don't get the twin energy. If they do not have a twin energy or a double turbo energy... We should be okay. Oh, it's a dragon type deck. Duraludon, maybe? It's a steel deck. It's gotta be Duraludon, right? Oh, it's Gumi. Okay, okay, okay. So it's gonna be a Gudra. Now they have bench Pokemon, but fortunately for me, they're not gonna be using the Jirachi, which is the only thing I was really worried about. Um, do I get an energy, energy? Oh, we did not get an energy, but that's okay. Because we have an empty hand now. We can go Glimwood Tangle here. And we'll go Professor's Research. I didn't even need another energy. Ugh, oh, that's silly. Okay, well, that's okay. So we got to know. We got a full hand here. We got the Blitzel in. We did get another energy. I'm so not used to Pokemon only needing, um, only needing, like, Two energy for 130 damage. That's insane. Okay, so we got the knockout on the Jirachi. No more astral misfortune for us. We are saved. They are going to have to level up one of these Gumis and put some energies on it pretty quick. So they're probably going to sacrifice one or two. We've got them on a time limit now. What is that? That's that ability, right? Yeah, you draw three cards. Fair enough. It's a nice Pokemon to start with, man. That Radiant Jirachi. Very nice Pokemon to start with. It's a Magurn of V. Interesting. Gear Throw Special Laser. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, and they had the Rare Candy. That's a little scary. Prevent all damage done to each of your basic Pokemon that has any Steel Energy attached. Oh, from Pokemon V. We're fine. We are fine. Um. Da -da -da -da. Um, we're gonna go for the Ultra Ball. We're gonna go Energy and Gloria. And we're gonna go and grab ourselves a Zeb. Uh, yeah, we should do the Zeb Striker, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We're gonna evolve that guy. We're gonna play the Spark, so we're gonna draw two cards and hopefully get a heads. Okay, that's fine. Um, and we can use the Dynamotor now to throw this energy we threw into the discard pile onto our Zeb Striker. We have a lady for more energy. That's fine. And we're going to knock out this uh, Gumi with the electric ball. No problem. So we already have two prize cards. We're going very nice. And we got the speed energy. So we get to draw two more cards for free. I'm really loving these speed energies. They have been really, really cool. Ooh, got a nugget. Draw three cards. That's an interesting card to have in your deck. Okay, they got another Magurna V. We really want to get access to these Magurna Vs before they can start attacking us with them. Um, they kind of need a switch. If they don't have the special energy, it's only doing 100 per turn. So that's, you know, if I got a boss's orders, that's what I would want to do. I would want to switch this Magurna V in. Um, and hit it with, um, or even I might want to switch this Hisuian Gudra in. No, no, no. You want the two prize cards, man. 
They got a Mew. The Mew is for cycling through for items. Interesting. Interesting. And it's not going to last in the starting position. I don't know why you would go searching for that Pokemon um, out of all of them. Maybe they have a Switch. Earth and Steel Stone. Okay. I don't even know what those do. This One of them does... You can go and find any card, right? It's, you may search your deck for a card. Yeah, put it in your hand in this one. Puts all your Pokemon V down to 100. Yeah. Okay. So I do know what they do. Alrighty. Yeah, isn't it great that they thought it was a good idea to just give any Pokemon V access to V-Star powers? Isn't that fun? Isn't that a nice touch? Every single Pokemon V deck. Oh, they're going to swap it in. Who are they doing? Is it going to be the Mew or are they going to put the Magurna? Oh, it's the Magurna. Why? Do they have another energy to put on? Oh, it's already got the special energy. They just need a normal energy. I wonder. Mmm, what does that do? Okay. Did I get rid of a Glimmer Tango? No, I didn't. Okay. Fantastic. Why would you attack the Blitzel? I'm not sure. So we're going to go Speed Energy onto the Zeb Striker. We got another Glimwood Tangle. What does this do? Once during each player's turn, let me look at the top card of their deck. Um. Hmm. I don't really need that, so, uh, but we'll put it back. That's fine. Um, what do I want to do here? Um, I think we're going to use the lady. I'm going to grab us some more energy. Cool. We're going to get rid of their uh, primordial altar. I do not want them to have access to that anymore. That's fine. Um, we're actually going to go and grab that... Uh, do I want to grab the Zeb Striker or the Ampharos? Um, probably the Zeb Striker. Prevent them from getting an easy, an easy knockout on that guy next turn. Um, and I think we're gonna use Dazzle Blast. I think that's what we would want to do. Force the retreat if we can get it. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know what the percentages are for. Yeah, that's okay. Um, I don't know what the percentages are for confusion. I don't know if it's as simple as a coin flip. Um, hey, there we go. Thank you very much. Okay, so we got an Arezu. We got a Bird Keeper. We got a Professor's Research. We got a Boss's Orders. Um, I think we're going to hold on to all of this. I would like to try and get another energy, but I can't right now. Um... I don't want to use the professor's research to get one. So we're going to go electric ball. Bang! We got the two price cards right there. Thank you very much. And they don't have any energy equipped now. So we are in a very strong spot. I would not be surprised if we got a surrender coming into this turn. Hmm. The nice thing is as well, um, we can just, um, we could just, we could just cycle this Magurna in with the boss's orders now. Um, and it won't have enough energy to hit us with the next turn. Or, or I'm like, do we just boss his orders in this Gumi and knock out the Gumi and put him down to one prize card? But then it gives the Magurna one more turn. We're pretty nicely set up already. Um, hitting the Magurna with the confusion, it could retreat. There we go. So we got the victory. Very nice. Look at that. And it was a decent one. We might actually get 30, 30 points for this. And if we do, we might be able to get this chest. How many are you giving me? 788. Oh, wow. What? What? That's so close. How do they stop it at 18? What? Okay. All right. We got to get a win in 16 minutes. All right. I, I'm going to do this. This is happening now. I want this chest. It's gonna be the first thing I open. You put the thought in my head. I can't. I can't not go for it now. We're up against a fighting deck. This is a deck that is actually strong against us. This is gonna be tough. And we lost the coin flip. We're up against TRTBR. 
Uh, okay. Turtbur. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I guess I uh, probably have a worse chance of getting that right than Mareep. So. All right. Come on, Turtbur. We're trying to do something here. Can you uh, figure out whether you want to go first or second? This guy's probably left his computer. It's probably just sitting there waiting. Come on. There you go. All right. Their turn first. No great basic Pokemon to start. We do have a level ball. We can get a Mareep. We're going to have to start the Blitzel. We can go to Seb Streaka pretty quick. An interesting option, if we really want to finish this quicker, is go for use the level ball to get another Zeb Streaka. I mean, uh, use the level ball in the evolution instance to get another Zeb Streaka into play. And then... Is this, it's one. And then we use the switch to get 120 out of this. Oh, this could be a filthy plan. Chirp. Search your deck for two Pokemon with fighting resistance. Reveal them, put your hand. You see this is a flying type. It's weak to electric. It resists fighting. Um, I think we're going to try that. I think that's the plan. Um, yeah, we're going to try. This is this is very risky. This is like all or nothing. We're playing no, no rag rats right here. We're going to go Thunder Spear. Is it put them in your hand or on your bench? In your hand. Okay. Yes. So if they did not get a basic Pokemon this turn, we win. Oh, man. If I get this chest, I'm going to be pumped. I'm going to be pumped. Hit me. Hit me for the Razor Wing. Hit me. 40 damage. I can take it. Let's go. Come on. End your turn. End your turn. End your turn. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, you know there's nothing that you can actually do this turn. You just want to end your turn. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on. No. Oh, well, there goes the quick game that we were so excited about. And that puts what? Two damage. Okay, that's okay. I'm not stressed about that. Oh, man. And they got an Ultra Ball so they can get another Pokemon. Dang. We were so close to just having the free win and they played the Shauna. That sucks. Ah, I only need two points as well. So it's like not even... I don't even have to win this necessarily. Um, I could potentially get that from a loss. But I don't want the loss to take long. So I want this to hurry up. Come on. You don't even have any more cards to play. What are you thinking about? Jeez, man. Some people... Some people. Oh, this just got even better. Ready? We got the Tower of Water here. We're going to go on a U. We're going to retreat this guy for free. Uh, Evolution Incense. We're going to grab another Zeb Striker. And we're going to knock this guy out. Um, So this is another power of this deck because the coordinated bolt does 240 damage and not 240 it does um it does 30 damage to start and then it does an extra 90 damage if another one of your rapid strike hit last time i can cycle in between these two rapid strike zeb strikers and just keep doing 120 damage for one energy which is insane i could just cycle right back with the tower of water free retreat cost hit him again i used the rapid strike move last time so it's going to do it again while i'm charging up my spark rush so this is kind of a nasty setup um this is exactly how i wanted to use this deck please just surrender my dude please you know you want to you have no hand you might not even get an energy next turn like come on stop it just go next. Just go next. Oh, man. Use the angry emo. <laughs> no, as if. Uh, no, I'm not going to use the angry emote. When someone uses the angry emote for me, it basically conveys to me that they're not in the best headspace. And so um, that becomes something you can use against them. I don't want this guy to start trying to take longer. Or do anything i want him to think that i'm having a good time and i'm antagonizing him that's the plan okay so we're gonna retreat for free thank you we're gonna play this guy we're gonna go like this 
two. Oh, we got a lady. Oh my days. This guy's guys. I'm sorry. Your your days are numbered here. Okay. Get all the energies. We love it. Oh, it's so nice. Um. Okay. Coordinate bolt for 120. There we go. Look at this. Oh man. And he didn't get an energy in that in that card, just like I thought. I made him take longer? No, don't say that. I don't think so. I don't think so. Alright, come on, buddy. Come on. You know you want to. You know this game is 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 kaput. It's kaput, my man. I'm coming at you. I got I got the spirit. I got the spark rush this time. I get to flip coins. I'm doing up to. Thank you. We got it. We got this win. Hell yes. Look at that. We did it. Oh my gosh.